come on, come in, step up, step in. Stop being scared, come on, log in. Chat rules, no rules, anything goes. Let's see you run your mouth when I expose. A bolillo is a wire thrown around a victim's neck. Well, you know, that's a, that's a more sadistic, uh, more uh, uh, hands-on way to exterminate a life. I've seen that way. I've seen that way too many times, you know. But let me ask you: What does a person do when it goes behind a person, gets in the stream wire, and they can defend themselves? Would you call him a coward? Yeah, I mean, well, that, you know, it, it must be a very strong, it must be a very sharp wire. You probably could. I mean, that's, that, that is horrible. That, that is disgusting and sadistic as shit, man. I'm talking about the culture of people, the gangsters on the Eastern Coast, all over the United States of America, that they sell, the, you know, describe them as thugs and love the, the, the Glock, Glock, Glock. And I think it's, you know, it's not a very uh, strong uh, fire weapon to begin with. Yeah, I would like to find out, like, how, you know, the Glocks make their way on the street. Because, you know, there's a company that produces Glocks. And the police department, United States of America, they have a contract to buy the Glocks. Multiple, probably, right? But, I was like, if you have that, why the fucking, you know, the criminals, the criminals actually get in their hands on that? And also, it's like, if you're that, you know, smart, like, shouldn't you be smarter than the fucking ace? Or maybe you're, they're all stupid. See, uh, as far as guns, I uh, have no particular choice. I would love one day to own a revolver and go someplace like in Texas and just have, you know, cans and shoot out in a canyon or something. Just, you know, play with that and just, you know, and roll around. You see how fucking sharp I am with, with a revolver. But it's a, it's a shot and it's, you know, I don't want to, I mean, I could get a soul rifle, but just I'm not into that fucking, you know, war like setting, blah, 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 you know. I want to. I want to be precise and detailed, and you know, have a, be a sharpshooter. I would like to own uh, not a shotgun, but a rifle with a scope. Like you know, be like hundred yards, two hundred yards away. And, I mean, two hundred yards is very sharp. My my vision is like that. Isn't that nice? Hundred yards away, and just you know, pop up can or something, something like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to have a samurai sword, but I want to do the martial arts of a samurai. In fact, I took certain classes. You know, it's like I want to do the training of a samurai, like using my body, like Aikido, and stuff like that, and have a sword by wooden one. You know, I want to be the warrior that actually slashes somebody's fucking, you know, being and shit. You know, I want to be the guy that actually knows that and defends myself, pushes a fucking, you know, a royal police department NYDP fucking hand off me and like, you know. What are you going to do with it? Probably hit me in the ass, but, you know, I just have to defend myself to the fucking reaches. Or black motherfucker over there, you know, who thinks he's fucking God because he's black. You know? You got to defend yourself to these fucking retards. I never liked Steven Seagal. I like Sean Clone Van Damme. You know? I, I actually... My first martial arts movie I saw was Bruce Lee, Enter the Dragon. That's when I saw that. I was like, that guy's a kick-ass. I remember being, you know, on the streets. I think it was, I saw that again, like, a couple years later in Spain, when I traveled from Poland, and I was trying to do the Kung Fu Mars with Bruce Lee, you know? And I was just like, I wasn't trying to hurt people. I was just so, like, you know, into that shit. And I also loved Jean-Claude Van Damme. He was in a lot of good movies, and he was... He's a real martial artist, man. He he still to this day like practices that stuff, you know. He's into it. Steven Seagal was like a he's a martial artist, but you know he just you know 
he's striking like a Hollywood kind of, you know, person that just tries to be in that Asian culture and shit. Jean-Claude never fucking, you know, went into this, I'm Asian right now, I have chopsticks, and I'm going to address myself this and the other thing, and, you know, this and the other thing. And he was like, he wasn't a, a fake to me, you know? Some people say Jean-Claude was a princey dude because he danced in that movie, but I love kickboxer, man. I love, I saw that movie so many times, you wouldn't believe. That was like some, you know, Thailand, Philippines stuff, you know?